there's a lot more to do for land than just St. John's. So here we are in Burlington on the Bayboro Peninsula. So we're in the sea right now. We're in Kings Point right now. Botwood in central Newfoundland is a very special town. This is Leading Tickles, another beautiful town. It's about, I think, 40, 45 minutes north of Botwood. If you know where Botwood is, Botwood's central Newfoundland. Closer to Grand Falls, but kind of in between Gander and Grand Falls, Windsor. Uh, I got a cousin, a cousin by marriage, Sandy, from Leading Tickles, so I wanted to come up and, and visit the place just to see it, see where she's from, and I've been hearing for years how beautiful of a spot it actually is. So that's why I'm here. Um, well, <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I'm here. Um, another reason I just kind of realized I've covered, I must have covered at least 70% of all the towns in Newfoundland over the last couple of years, right? I'm in Heart's Content right now. Heading over to Belle Island with Pops today. I decided to come check out Carboneer. I've been to Bonavista a bunch of times, but I just had my first ever fish and chips here. Now you may have heard of like some of the challenges that people put out. There are Major League Baseball fans that want to watch a game in every Major League stadium, right, all around the United States and, and in Toronto. More relevant to Newfoundland, there's the Rifts Challenge, where people go around to visit every single Rifts location all around the province. And uh, I've seen a story in the Telegram or on CBC or somewhere that somebody has actually done it and, and documented it. So that uh, challenge has been completed. Rifts wasn't part of my growing up anyway in Mount Pro, we didn't have a riffs around, so that's not really like authentic for me, but I thought it was a cool challenge, um, so kind of akin to the Major League Baseball Stadium challenge. But I got a, a good friend, Barry Lynch. What are you at, Barry, if you see this? <laughs> How you doing? Um, Barry's dad did a challenge, well, I don't know if it was a challenge, but he just took it upon himself two or three years ago to visit every single town in Newfoundland. He jumped in his RV and literally visited every single town that's listed on the map. And I think that is so cool. So I guess that's kind of like my mission now. I don't have a timeline in place because I'm not retired like Barry's dad. Um, but I am sort of chipping away at everything right now. Like I said, I, I got to look at a map and I actually have to do the math on this to see how far I've gone so far. But I, I got a feeling I, I've covered well over half of the towns and I still got a lot to go. There's a lot of little towns dotting around the, uh, the Newfoundland coastline. And actually in the interior of the province, I haven't really gone anywhere inside of the province, right? Like, um, yeah, there's, there's a whole other world. Fewer towns, but there's a lot of towns, like Millertown and Buckins and places like that. I haven't been to Burgio. I can go on, that's what I'm not going to here. I do my best to talk about as many towns, communities, regions of the island of Newfoundland and I, I always touch on Labrador to the best of my ability. I'm going to make my way there one day but that hasn't happened yet. But that's on my list. If you live in Newfoundland, odds are that you're familiar with this site. If you come to visit Newfoundland, odds are that you're going to actually see this site. And that's just math, like there's more than half of the population of Newfoundland lives in the general vicinity of St. John's. And the biggest airport is in St. John's, so most visitors are coming to St. John's. This is the type of place that you absolutely should come see. It's amazing. but. My mission is to make sure that people don't only think of St. John's and when you do come to, to visit or if you live here and you, you live in the city, don't forget to get out and explore the rest of the place because it is, it's absolutely amazing, right? Come to St. John's, come to Cabot Tower. Come overlook the city of St. John's from Signal Hill. Like it's breathtaking. We're looking at the ocean just over here and the further, out you go and the next place you'll see is the Azores and Portugal and Ireland and right like this is a really remarkable place to be but don't take the rest of the province for granted try your best to get out and explore whether you drive an hour outside the city or you take you know a 10 hour road trip across the island whatever the case is this place is awesome you really should explore the whole place I'm in Salvage on the basically on the tip of the Eastport Peninsula I'm in Charlottetown, Newfoundland right now. I just had lunch at Union East in the Gander Airport. 
I had no idea that Harbor Breton was like this. So I'm here for a couple of days. I'm on the Galtus Ferry. Now here I am in the town of Galtus. I just passed through Lewisport. On a mint willing gate, thought I'd take you for a little walk around Mount Pearl, just a little one. Brigus was basically Captain Bob Bartlett's town. Badger Diner is actually in the town of Grand Falls now. Two big hikes today on Fogo Island. As you can see here, we're in beautiful Placentia. We came out to Fairyland to go to the lighthouse for a lighthouse picnic today. We came down to the bird sanctuary in St. Mary's, the ecological reserve with my brother. I'm standing here right now in the town of Bloor for the first time in my life and it is absolutely breathtaking. But uh, I'm in Leading Tickles because I wanted to see it. This is a specific place that I had on my list for a long time to come visit. Beautiful day, beautiful day, not a breath of wind. The sun is sort of peeking up behind the clouds over behind me. Um, I'm really glad that I came up and saw this beautiful little town. And uh, yeah, I just uh, wanted to show you Leading Tickles and kind of explain what's going on, what my plans are for the next, I don't know, two or three years to, to literally visit every single town. So if you watch my videos and if you've seen some of the travels that I've taken so far, and you, you say like, you should come to my town or why haven't you come to my town? I'm coming, okay? If I haven't been there yet, I will get there. I promise that when, I don't know, but I, I can't wait to see your town. All right, be good, take care.